My name is Ian McDermott. I'm an orthopaedic surgeon specialising purely in knees at London Sports Orthopaedics, based at 31 Old Broad Street in the middle of the city. Biological knee reconstruction is a bit of an Americanism. It's a term that I believe was coined by Kevin Stone in San Francisco. And what it refers to is reconstructing everything that's wrong in a patient's knee all simultaneously. If a patient is missing their meniscus, then you can replace the meniscus by meniscal allograft transplantation from a donor. But at the same time, if the articular cartilage is missing, then the meniscal transplant will fail. So if the cartilage is missing, then you can reconstruct the cartilage with a cartilage transplant as well. However, if there's a ligament missing and the knee is unstable, then again, the reconstruction will fail unless you also reconstruct the ligament and stabilize the knee. Finally, if there's malalignment, so if the knee is not straight and if the side of the knee is being overloaded, if you don't address that problem, the overall reconstruction will fail. If the joint is malaligned, you can do a realignment osteotomy to cut the bone, to realign the joint, to offload the compartment. And biological knee reconstruction means doing whatever's necessary, all of these things sometime together at the same time. It's salvage surgery, not truly restorative. And the aim is to try and keep people's knees going for longer to delay potential knee replacement. The future of knee surgery is definitely in biologics and it's in reconstructing joints rather than replacing with metal work. In the longer term future we're going to be seeing tissue engineering, 3D printed biological scaffolds, we're going to see the use of stem cells and growth factors, all of these techniques to try and increase the success rate of what we're doing.